This is the McElroy fusion machine you're used to seeing in the field, the Trackstar. And this is their latest concept, flipping traditional fusion equipment on its head, literally, the Talon. And this is McElroy made. The Talon is unlike anything the industry has ever seen before. This one, the Talon 2000, will fuse together pipe up to 78 inches in diameter. And what makes it so unique is that it picks up the pipe from the ground and loads it into the machine by itself. The Talon is McElroy's largest machine. The unique features of the Talon is it traverses over the pipe versus our traditional equipment where the jaw swing open above the machine, and pipe is laid in from the top. One of the main advantages of the Talon is its ability to pipeline. Pipe is laid out ahead of time, close to its final installation point, then the Talon drives over the pipe itself to fuse the joint. It eliminates the need for you know, multiple pieces of equipment on the job site. If you think about fusing 54-inch pipe, you need a machine on the inbound side of the pipe, a machine on the outbound side of the pipe, supporting the pipe, lifting the pipe up. You need another machine in the middle, bringing in the facer of the heater into the machine, where the talent is all self-contained. If you look at the tracks and the operation, there's nothing else like the Talon in the world. So how did McElroy come up with the idea for the Talon and how did they make it happen? For the answer, let's go to the engineers that made it all possible. We were starting from scratch, you know, we really had the ability to rethink the process. So it all started with a question. What keeps us from putting the machine over the pipe? And can the machine load the pipe by itself? Anybody who's been out on one of these large diameter pipe job knows pipe handling is definitely the most difficult part of the job. So by eliminating the need to raise the pipe all the way above your jaws to get it into your machine, uh, you're taking a whole lot of energy off the job site and also preventing pipe swinging from hitting the end of the machine by only needing to lift it by just a few feet. The development timeline happened over a seven year time frame. There was some conceptual work done uh, by several engineers at the beginning where there were small scale models where they took jaws that we already manufactured, chopped them up and put small cylinders on them to make them work just to make sure that the concept of picking the pipe up from the bottom was gonna actually work. From there, we spent actually two years fine-tuning and learning and developing before the first machine actually shipped. And in that process, we learned a lot about how the controls would work, uh, redesigned a lot of the components for functionality and reliability. Some of the stuff we learned um, during our testing and, and validation that, that we had to, to kind of build on, it didn't work how we wanted it to or envisioned it originally was uh, in the facer design. It's, very new and innovative design, a large departure from how we've traditionally done facing. Think of it like a CNC machine where the bit comes down to the center of the pipe, traverses around, and it cuts both sides of the pipe at the same time. When we were designing the carriage and the decision was made to load from the bottom, you know, our traditional style of having a single upper jaw that pivots over the top of the pipe and pulls everything together to hold it in place wouldn't really work because the machine would have to be so high above the ground for that jaw to swing uh, that you would lose the benefit of having that lower pipe level. So what we developed was what we refer to as quarter jaws. So there are two smaller jaws that are operated on each jaw circle to clamp the pipe in place. They're hydraulically operated and each jaw has the ability to control how much pressure and force is being employed to clamp the pipe in place. From the very beginning, this machine was slated to be automatic, uh, to be controlled based off of operator input and then go through the sequence of operation to take out the errors that happen. Even with a machine as technologically advanced as the town, the operator still plays a key role 
in the outcome of a successful fusion. It's still a what we would kind of consider a manual machine in that the operator still has to tell the machine when to open the carriage and remove the heater. We made our interaction on a touch screen so it was easy and fast for them to go through those menus and select that information. On some manual machines, you're you're turning levers and shifting valves and there's timing involved with all that. But in this situation, it's doing that for you. You've literally told it what pipe, what standard, this thing's ready to do the fusion. Beauty of the machine though is if you've ever operated another one of our hydraulically controlled machines, it's that same hydraulic manifold. You're gonna step up to the machine, see that hydraulic manifold and know exactly what operation you need to be able to do to be able to fuse that pipe. There are sensors and encoders all over the Talon. And it's reporting positions, it's reporting end of travel, it's reporting presence. That programmable logic controller is what's telling the system what to do and how to react. And it's literally got all of the sequence of events in it. And when we start the fusion, it knows that it needs to separate the pipe, get the facer in place, all the sequence of events it's controlling. The software is recording what's happening in the process as the fusion is happening. This gives assurance to the inspector, to the operator, that a record is there verifying that joint record itself. It's a machine that's controlling those times, those temperatures, those pressures, how long it was soaking in heat and what the cool time was so that when you're ready to unclamp and get away, the pipe is in a safe handling condition. We can actually remote in and do troubleshooting with any problems that you may have on the control side of the machine. There is also the ability to update the program that's on the machine remotely. So one of the really big benefits of that is if there is a problem that comes up in the field, we can, within very short order, get connected to the machine and really dive deep into what might be going on. This enables us to help the customer quickly and it helps them have more uptime and in turn they're making more joints, they're, they're uh, getting more pipe in the ground. And so it doesn't require someone to travel to wherever the machine may be. So it's the potential to save days of time of lost productivity is one of the great benefits of being able to remote into the machine. It's clear that the talent and this technology can completely change the way plastic pipe is fused today. The impact that faster, safer ways of pipe handling can have on the job site has McElroy really excited. For more videos from McElroy, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on McElroy Made. You have to tell me that because my head always leans. I yeah, I have, you know. That was terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Just do the whole thing again, because I, I flubbed it at the beginning too. Flipping traditional fusion equipment on its head, literally.